Hello everybody, I am Christopher 40 and welcome to another week of gaming where this week I am continuing I'm going to be playing not Tropico 6 as you guys have watched for the last 108 videos, but Jurassic World Evolution as you can see from the title screen here. Uh, I will be certain here at the main menu and we'll get to the map. We'll be starting a new campaign uh, and before I get to that I will mention this. It's been about a month since the last video I did of Tropico 6, so I just want you guys to know this. Between then and now, I did do some tests, some how would I, you know, what kind of video would I want to do next, and I ended up picking Jurassic World Evolution. I did get some suggestions from some of you in the comments uh, of what future games to play. I will be taking those all into consideration. Uh, if anybody else has anyone, any other suggestions, please I'll put it in the comments below. And I will take the suggestions. Most of them I will use. There are some I can't play, uh, which I will be talking more at the end. So, without further ado, let's dive right into the world of Jurassic World Evolution. We'll start off with starting a new campaign. Uh, these are the only one one I have is Jurassic World Evolution. I would try and get the two others for Fire Sanctuary and Return to Jurassic Park, potentially in the future. I don't know yet. All right, so please, without further ado, enjoy. Hello, may I say welcome? My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can, uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are. And uh, you want to be ready before you try that. I'm Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management. And I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond Creation Lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, so that is the introduction uh, of the campaign with Dr. Ian Malcolm, uh, voiced by, I believe, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, Always known Jeff Goldblum to be the only one to voice the uh, uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm in, in Jurassic Park and in Jurassic World. Uh, so we're going to be going a little bit through tutorial here in the first map on Isla Matancero. So uh, please bear with me while I go through this. So let's go straight to the enclosures and start doing some of these missions until we can get other stuff. Here we go. Alrighty, so we want to put it right in here and there. That is as good as any place. Uh, right there, there we go. Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. Well, of course, Spanish is. And it sounds better than just saying the Five Deaths. It's like. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. You would think that would be the case, uh, Mr. Finch. Uh, okay, so now we got to connect it to the power grid, which it already is, but we have to connect it to the paths, which is not connected, obviously. So here we go. Connect this path here, and done. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiol Mimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. All right, so we're going to start it off with a Struthiomimus, as uh, Cabot Finch said here. All right, let's do that. Let's do the hatching bay. Struthiomimus, there we go, 
We do have the Ceratosaurus, Edmontosaurus, and Triceratops, but we don't have them at viable 50. So you have to have it always at over 50, or at least at 50, to get the genome to allow yourself to uh, allow be allowed to incubate dinosaur eggs. So let's start with the Suthiomimus today. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Everything. Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the the last time. There's always a last time and a next. They're kind of not wrong. <laughs> okay, all right, dinosaurs ready to release. Okay. First dinosaur, here we go. Life, it begins. The most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. Way to be a... Well, I think that, that that Dr. Ian Malcolm kind of sounds like a cynic, but... The okay. Hammond Foundation has three main or, areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. All right, so we have to choose between the three, one of the three different uh, divisions, whether it be security, entertainment, or science. Personally, I like the science, so I'm going to start off in complete and total honesty. I'm going to go kind of in order. I'm kind of like that a bit. So I'm going to start off with uh, the science division. So let's do this. Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. All right, so this is our first mission, first steps, science. Build, connect, and power an expedition center. Construct power and connect an expedition center to your parks. Path network of an expedition center will allow you to send out dig teams across the world in search of dinosaur fossils. The first step towards acquiring dino DNA, as they always say. So we'll get uh, increased reputation with science and always getting cash rewards, $250,000. So we're not doing in small cash this time like in Tropica where you have to earn a certain amount. This is going to be a little bit different. So let's see this. All right, accept that. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. Of course. All right, so let's do this. Uh, first, building for us to create the expedition center. It's in here. I always try to keep the expedition center over here, typically, because I want it to not be too far away from... Uh, the science area and the foss the re the fossil area where they research it. Uh, or so one more thing, your reputation, your rep, quote unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them, financially, I mean. But like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Oh boy. Yeah, there are times where there are going to be issues, like if I do not focus on... If I focus on science and entertainment, but I never focus on security, security can usually do something. People think money makes the world go around, but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go around, my friend. Obligations and commitments. 
Complete a contract and your rep with the science division will increase. Meaning you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. Yeah. Well, all right. So that's a little bit of the introduction. There's still going to be some more to deal with. So let's go here. Yeah. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us. And to me. Okay, so we have the first mission in the science division, which is mission prehistoric life. Acquire 50% genome for the Triceratops. Uh, and we'll get one million dollars rewards and cardio strength 2.0, which basically allows us to have modifications that we can take and apply to certain dinosaurs, which is always awesome. All right, let us start that mission. Uh, the expedition map, which is where we're going to go. I knew you were my kind of person, inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. Okay, so one thing I was going to try and do... Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. Mm. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. Ah, okay, yes, the fossil center. Extract fossils to build genomes for each dinosaur. The dinosaurs. fossil center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! Yes, it is, Cabot Finch. Yes, it is. So the, this is basically the fossil center where you get all the different fossils. You can extract fossils to build genomes for each dinosaur, viable dinosaur... Vi viable genomes for the dinosaurs, the genome for the dinosaur. Allow you to create dinosaurs at the Hammond Creation Lab, and expeditions sometimes bring extra finds that can be sold for cash. Which is very useful to get extra cash from some of these extra things like those. Alright, let's continue. A uh, few fossils. I think we do have a few fossils. Two for the Struthiomimus, one for the Triceratops, one for the Edmontosaurus, and one for the Ceratosaurus. So, first things first, let's go to here. Uh, let's do this for Triceratops. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Of course they will, Captain. I will do that. It'll take some time. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. In a way. So we have our research center over here, the fossil center over here, and the small power station over here that provides power for everything, and the arrival point, basically. Should be interesting. I also like how every single time when you have on a different map, they actually show Jurassic World Isla Matanceros on the gate. If you see right there. Which is actually hilarious. I like that. Each island that we go to. Alright. For the Triceratops. We're only at 48, so it's a good thing I sent out that thing for that. It'll take a little bit, but not too much. The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. You would think. Yeah, so this is the research center. Research allows you to improve and expand multiple aspects of your facilities. You can research new and improve genes to modify your dinosaurs, but, uh, which is what I said earlier. And some items have division reputation requirements that need to be met before they become available. Alright, so let's go and view the research. This is what I was re uh, looking at earlier, and so on. So these are things that we have access to. Research currently. Here. 
in uh, this research tree. Kind of like the tech tree, if you uh, know of Civilizations, for an example, the Civilization series. Which is definitely one series I would like to try to play on this channel eventually in the future. But yeah. Fair uh, amount of stuff there. Okay. Ah, here's the helicopter coming back with some fossils. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. How much will that do? Let's see. That's going to do about 2%. Roughly? I don't know. You only need 2%. Yeah, a single star fossil typically does about 2%, so this will probably take it directly up to 50. And then we'll have Triceratops. Here we go. Yes! Incubate and release with 50% genome. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous, and I have you to thank. At least in part for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. Uh, of course, Doctor. All right. So we're not making a profit, so it would be nice to try to get some of these out here. So let's get ourselves a Triceratops. All right. Incubate a Triceratops. Here we go. Our Stuthium Mime seems to be doing good so far. Alright! So far, so good. No... No issues so far, which is always good. Triceratops shouldn't take too much longer. Okay, we incubate. Been incubated and let's release. Here's our second dinosaur. Nice. Our new specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations. But we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. The thank you will basically be, Dr. Ian Malcolm, of uh, actually getting something else. From Opportunity it. has presented itself. Uh, uh, which in this case is the happiness of the dinosaurs. It doesn't mean they're going to say thank you. Uh, okay, so we have an uh, opportunity here for the science division expediting expeditions. Use the expedition center on Earth at least two small herbivore fossils. I think I can easily do that, so let's accept that mission. We'll get several from, uh, from other things. I'm going to actually go and do this one. So let's do expedition. And I'm going to say let's do the Edmonton Saurus one so we can get that. Okay, so I need to get and construct a small herbivore feeder. So let's go enclosures. And here we go, feeders. Okay, so we have the ground herbivore tall. Ground herbivore. There we go. So this is the one that they would want. Boom. Mm. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later. Dr. Henry Wu from the original Jurassic Park, obviously. Construct an operational ranger station, incubate and release a triceratops with 70% genome research item and 
uh, item from Research Center, Hookworm Parasite. Okay, so we have a fair amount of stuff to do with this one. Obtain small herbivore fossils. Okay, so let's get... So operations, we need a... Ah, here it is, the ranger station. I'm going to put the ranger station just down over here. Let's get some paths going. The ranger station is quite useful because that is going to help us to take care of all the animals, make it so that they're fed and maintained and healing, if necessary, medication-wise. All right. Incubate and release triceratops. Okay, so we're going to need to get some more fossils for the triceratops. Let's start doing that. So 50%. Let's do this one. I'll probably send out another expedition to deal with getting some more trike. Triceratops uh, genome samples, basically. And research uh, hookworm parasite. So we can work on doing that now. Let's do research. So that is medical treatment. And it's actually the only one we have here so far. Okay, so we'll get to that shortly. I'm sure we're not doing too much. Okay, there we go. We now have our ranger station, which usually starts off with one ranger team. So that is nice. Another win for the science division, thanks to you. Oh, good. Nice. Let's check this. Extraction speed fossil. No matter nice. what anyone else says, science is what makes or breaks us. Admittedly, sometimes both. But on Isla Matanceros, you are making us and yourself look good. I would. That's worth a reward. I would hope so, Doctor. All right, so we just got one of these things uh, from the expedition, which is just silver, which we can sell for $120,000. I'm going to sell that and get another expedition for Triceratops stuff. So let's go here. Let's do the Amimus. That's Triceratops there. Let's go Triceratops. We just want Triceratops. And I think we have the space for it. Yeah, we have about two more for space for that one. Okay. Uh, going well so far. Just a little over 20 minutes in. Uh, we're going to go for the usual 25, 26 minutes. Uh, just like uh, for Tropico. The only thing that's going to take a long time is the incubation of the dinosaurs. So let's go medical hookworm parasite. There we go. That should take about a minute. It doesn't take long for most research, which is always nice. And I know we have... So typically when you have the dinosaurs, they're just like the first three initials of what the type of dinosaur is with just number one. Uh, like for the Triceratops and the Suthiomimus, it's just TRC, TR, well, for TRC, they don't have trike instead of, yeah. Uh, so if people want to, we could try and name the dinosaurs uh, as well, if people have any suggestions for some crazy or fun, interesting names for the dinosaurs. If not, I could just keep them the way they are, and we don't need to, and I, we don't need to worry about that. But I thought that that would be a cool idea if people want funny names for the dinosaurs. But I know if you name the dinosaurs, you're going to get too attached to them. <laughs> so don't. All right. How are these dinosaurs doing? Oh, some of the dinosaurs, when you do them for, uh, for missions, will have the... Oh, this is a science objective. So you don't want anything to happen to that, to that one dinosaur because they're part of an objective, basically. And I'll always show that. I love being able to get down... And looking at the dinosaurs, like, right up close. It's nice. Okay. Hold on a sec. Alright, doing good so far. It might take a while to get the genome up for trikes. Play. Oh, here we go. What is the genome? 
54% so far. Let's go here. Oh, okay, there's a bit of a problem. They're waiting because there's not enough space. Okay, so let's just do... Oh, okay. I'll do... One of these and one of these so that these two can go. We don't have enough space for some of the things that they brought in, apparently. Okay. Alright. So... I'm going to pause it there. Unfortunately, unlike Tropico 6, there is no way of really pausing uh, the game typically. So we've done a little bit of the introduction to this uh, on Isla Matanceros and Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, placed a few things down. Ranger Station. Have two dinosaurs, the Struthiomimus and Triceratops. Uh, still working on some of the science quests to start off. Science missions to start off. So, so far it's good and interesting. Hope everybody has been enjoying this, uh, and hope you enjoy the future episodes to come. All right, well, what else are we do next time? Find out next week. So please leave your comments in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it, and share this with your friends. That would be much appreciated. And if you have any comments or anything else to say about uh, this uh, idea for the series of doing tr uh, Jurassic World Evolution, please comment section down below. Also, please subscribe if you have not subscribed and want to see any more future content. So, stay tuned for another week of gaming. Until then, take care of yourselves, and keep on gaming out there. See you next time. Bye!